Good morning. Welcome to Lewis Ginter Botanical Garden Virtual Storytime. Today I'm going to read All the Water in the World by George, Ella Lyon, and Katherine Tilliston. Where does water come from? Where does water go? Let's find out the answers to these questions. All the Water in the World by George Ella Lyon and Katherine Tilliston. Is all the water in the world? Water flows from the hose. It wobbles in blue pools. It fills your cup up. But where does it come from? Hmm. I wonder too. Water doesn't come, it goes around. The rain that cascaded from clouds and meandered down mountains that wavered over waterfalls, then slipped into rivers and opened into oceans, that rain has been here before. Thirsty air licks it from lakes, sips it from ponds, guzzles it from oceans, and this wet air swirls up. This is a fun page. Till it's crowded into the clouds where it hangs hotly around to cool air bumps through, and honey, those clouds just let it go and rain and rain and rain. Do you guys like rain? I love rain. Tap dance avalanche stampede of drips and drops and drumming, a wealth of water. But far away, it's a different day. No sound but wind, empty cup again. Dry grasses, rustle, dirt, just dust. Everything waits for an open gate and a wall of clouds for rain, sweet and loud, to fill the well and start the stream. Honey, living things dream of water for all to drink. Use in the tub or sink. Wash and splash in. This wet wonder means grow, means life will flow. Through tigers, through trees, through you and through me. All, all, all together now. All, all. Ready? All so precious, do not waste it. And delicious, we can taste it. Keep it clear, keep it clean. Keep earth green. The end. Stay tuned for the activities portion of story time. Welcome back friends to the activities portion of story time. Today we are going to do a simple science experiment called sink or float with nature. Friends, you will make predictions and observations. To do this at home, you will need a bowl of water, a towel, some paper towels, um, and I also have this things that sink and things that float um, mat, which I put inside a sheet protector to keep the paper from getting wet. And you will also need some natural materials. Let's see what I have. So I have kind of a very heavy stick. Got a, a heavy rock. 
Um, oh, here's a pretty heavy seashell. And I have some light items. I have like a really light seashell. I got a not so heavy rock, it's kind of light. And a very, very light feather. And a buckeye seed, which is very light. Which items do you predict will sink? And which items do you predict will float? The heavier items or the lighter ones? Let's find out. You will be observing what sinks to the bottom and what floats to the top. You ready? All right. Putty, you ready? All right. So I'm going to drop my heavy seashell in there. What do you guys think? You ready? It went straight to the bottom. Let's do the light seashell. You ready? Think it's gonna float? That one was heavier. Let's drop it in. That one's to the bottom too. What about this really light rock? Put it in there. That one's to the bottom. It did not float. It sank. What about what should I do next, guys? I will do the buckeye. Oh, we got a winner. That one's floating. What about this feather? Let's see. Ah, it's floating. Let's do this rock. I could die to do this rock. It's pretty heavy. Claudine, what do you think? I think it'll sink. All right, Claudine says she thinks it's gonna sink. Did you hear that? It was like a thump. It went straight to the bottom. It did not float. What about this stick? Hmm. Let's see. Ah, friends, it's floating. Why do you think the seashells were the only items that didn't float? Okay, so we have that. And a good observation, all the things from nature, like from maybe these things came from a woodland walk, they all floated. But all these things from the beach did not float. Why do you think the seashells were the only items that didn't float? Friends, that's it for this week. I hope you enjoyed our story and activity. This week, we celebrated World Water Day. How can you celebrate World Water Day every day? To find ways on how to do that and read other books about water, take a look at the resources attached to this week's story time. Maybe you and your family can learn more about the water cycle and why some things float and some sink especially the seashells, let us know what you find out. We love hearing from you. Thanks for letting me read to you today. See you next time.